Hello YouTube, it's Dodo Dodroff here and I'm guest narrating this battle for the one and only, the most beautiful YouTuber, Mephesto. It's a new match against Kevin, and Mephesto leads with Icrunch, his skunk tank, and Kevin leads with Sherryzard and subs, which tells Mephesto it's a Bellyzard, but Mephesto knows it before it subs and goes for the taunt, so Sherryzard can't use Belly Drum. Now he goes into his Ive Fox U. Nicely predicting the fire punch to get the flash fire boost and now he subs down and the sherry sub goes for the T punch and that will take out the fox's sub. So Mephesto's like oh a useful crit here. And Mephesto's like okay I don't wanna stay in here now he goes into his Elvis Bucks Wiggly Tough, which is kinda cool. And the Sherry Sub does Literally no damage with this T punch, and now the taunt wears off, which is pretty fast to be honest. And he can go for the belly drum, and Mephesto knows he's gotta take out the sub, so he goes for the seismic toss and takes out the sub. And now um, he's taking out the sub, and the belly zard is now at plus six attack, plus one speed, blaze activated, and step blaze fire punch will obviously take out poor Elvis bugs. If I were a bug, I would not be Elvis, to be honest. So, um, Bugs is down, and now Mephesto switches an eye crunch, and was like, oh, he wants to use Aftermath to kill the Sherry's art. But, Mephesto is way cooler than that. Really. He survives the crit using his Focus Sash and just explode, <laughs> explodes right into the Black Belly Zard's face to cause a double down. And now it's 5-4 and Kevin sends out Donald, most likely named after Donald Duck, and Mephesto sends him himself. <laughs> nice idea. And um, Donald goes for the Toxic and Mephesto, the Dance Bars, goes for the Body Slam. With Serene Grace he gets the Parahex and judging by the damage and um, I don't see Left Orbs or Life Orb so that Mephesto is possibly choice banned. And now he, um, Kevin makes a nice play, switches out, goes into his 0.0 Dust Clops with not red hands and red body to take the body slam and he will wisp on the switch while Mephesto switches and Molly, who doesn't mind the burn too much and now Kevin nicely predicts the Toxic and goes into his Donald who is already polarized and can therefore be Toxic. And Molly now sets up a light screen while Donald gets Parahex. So that Molly thing is just uh, annoying Dust Hawks. Yeah, uh, greets to Dust Hawks King at this point. Now uh, Mephesto switches into 27 moons and Kevin does another nice prediction and goes for the Toxic on the switch. Pretty nice. And he gets leftovers recovery and Mephesto predicts his switch because that Porygon can't really touch that Lunatone here. And he goes for the Calm Mind, now he's plus one, special defense and special attack. And he gets hurt by Toxic, um, doesn't matter too much. And now Mephesto goes for a hidden power. Maybe he's Saft wrong here because it's not super effective, maybe it was supposed to be Grass or all Electric. However, that Manaphy, that, uh, Manaphy question mark which is a Fion that comes in, uses Surf, and with Light Scream up, it's not going to kill. And now Kevin withdraws and sends a Medicham, and Mephesto is just so uber and awesome and super highly geil, ultra geil, as I would say in German. So he just psychics and kills <laughs> the incoming Medicham, which is like, oh my god, pro? I guess so. However, he, uh, he gets really wrecked by Poison here. So um, Kevin sends in a shiny Manectric that goes for Spark, so it looks like this is a physical Manectric which is pretty cool. Uh, just have you realized there are so many shiny pokes in this battle? Um, the Manectric goes for um, a Spark again which will not do too much damage to Mephesto himself because he's the devil if you have read Faust by Goethe. And Mephesto just goes for the earthquake like it was a everyday move and kills that bolt. Um, uh, uh, props to Kevin for that Manectric. I, I really like that. I like physical Manectric. 
And Mephesto now switches out as the Manaphy question mark comes in and switches into his special wall, which is Molly, his dust talks. And he doesn't take too much from that ice beam, so props to the Molly dust talks thingy. <laughs> and um, Kevin CC can't do anything, so he, he switches out into Donald and he traces shield death, which really doesn't help him too much. Um, while Mephesto knows that he will switch and just roost off some damage to get HP back mostly. And Burns still damages him, but Molly's not too bothered by that. And now he sets up the last screen again because most Porygons are especially attacking, I think. And that uh, Donald just recovers, maybe predicting an attack. Yeah, and now Mephesto withdraws uh, Molly and goes into iFox, nicely predicting a Ice Beam here, which will do like shit fucking crap damage with light scream and uh, screen <laughs> and not very effective and now the fox sets up a sub and with light screen it won't break to the thunderbolt of the donald and now oh now mephesto coal mines up while the donald gets parahex and now mephesto coal mines again and although that sub is already damaged with plus two and light scream up it won't break, so Mephesto is at a r really good position here, and he gets the third call mind up. And <laughs> poor Donald Duck gets Parex again, and now Mephesto just flame throws the thing, which will not kill. Um, just by the way, you know, uh, I come from Germany, and uh, ah, par gets Parex here. Um, a stupid uh, woman from my town um, shot a duck in the park with a shotgun to eat it. She was jobless so she kind of wanted to eat it had nothing else to eat people from Germany are crazy Mephesto finishes off the Donald Duck with a second flamethrower uh, and he still got the sub up so it's pretty much looking like a sweep here I, I really like the 90s I gotta try it out to be honest it, it, it looks pretty damn cool and he doesn't want to KO the dust off because it got epic special defense and stuff, base one, 130 I think, but after breaking the sub with Nightshade, Mephesto will easily take it out with another flamethrower, so the 0.0, which is like, uh, will die. So now, um, Kevin is down to his last Pokemon, which is a Manaphy question mark. And Mephesto's like, oh my god, I just killed you with energy ball. And Mephesto is so pro, he wins 3-0. So, um, I suppose you subscribe to Kevin. And I know Mephesto never wants you to sub him. Be um, he never says, okay, sub me. But... I am an honest person and I sub Mephesto long ago and I suppose you should do the same, really. And if you like my narration, you can also check out my channel and yeah, just check it out um, for the fun. Uh, thanks Mephesto for letting me narrate this battle, I'm really honored and see you guys maybe if you check out my channel, if not, if you hate me, that's no problem. See you guys!